Welcome back to the episode 7 of the Tea Party. So, where we last left off on this one hell of a you know, unhinged notion. You know, other than like other than going through the dialogue that feels like similar, similar but like written in a different way. So, other than, you know, conversation between Shannon and George and, uh, and George had like some sort of confliction because because he thought uh, because he didn't want to interfere with the well he had his thoughts to where like he didn't want to interfere with the uh, Shannon when it comes to like her and Ballard but you know he said it's all it's all in the past so there's that I don't want to don't feel like elaborating further and then and then it, it got lead up to, now it got lead up to the part where you know the older siblings you know not really older siblings but you know the seven people were able to uh, solve the epitaph in which it led to the underground VIP room to where Beatrice was I mean or is like she was hiding you know her So <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> she, it's weird how she, you know, confess what she's going to do and what happens when she, they don't solve the epitaph. She had, she had all the stuff, you know, with the guns to like setting up a device to explode the entire island. I was like, I, I was like, well, that's a little bit of a one way to end it with a bang, I suppose. Anyway, let's continue. I didn't even know that this, there was some terrorism within Kinzo's plans. When the epitaph's riddle was solved, Beatrice's illusion of the witch ended. Most likely, no one in this room was capable of understanding her grim de determination. She herself was probably the only one who understood. As long as the many selves inside of her understood that was enough. I am one yet many. I abandoned myself to the magical roulette of endless possibilities. The result? The answer is this. This is what the tarot cards known as the Epitaph Ceremony have shown me. Yet the Ricci is already dead. They did not kill her. I killed her myself. In accordance with fate's command, they will never understand for all eternity. Dot, dot, dot. The witch stared up at the ceiling without speaking for a while, then looked as though she'd suddenly remembered something. She grabbed at the sleeves of her dress and took out some sort of card. So, so. What would you forget? これも皆さんにお渡ししますキャッシュカードうん黄金の一部を現金化していましただ。That means all of the gold is now useless. それが入っている口座です。That was fast. なるほどな。黄金の魔女の まさに魔法エネルギーっちゅうわけやないくら入っているんだねでも十億以上は入っています十億そりゃ確かに魔法だぜ そうね。それだけのお金でできないことはないでしょうからね。そうですね。人間のハンマホの毒素に最も強い唯一の魔法がこの黄金の魔法。ある意味、このカードはインゴットよりも。
強い力を持つかもしれませんねまったくだねインゴッタより現金の方が喜ばれるものだどうぞ私にはもはや不要なものですので。The card she held out was not taken by any of them. Who would ever just hand over a card with a billion yen in it? The amount of gold, the device for blowing up the island, the card with a billion yen, all of these surpassed their understanding. So no one could bring themselves to take it. But no one? What the fuck? More than a billion. To r e s t her understanding, so no one could bring themselves to take it. What's the, what's the issue? Ogon no Yamao, hi, dozo. Bakudan mo kaijo shimas. Juok no kado mo dozo. ね、Why is that? I mean, you got, you, got some, you, got, you got some firearms for self defense, <laughs> a fucking、uh, explosives, a shit ton of explosives, so you know. So, you, in case you want to commit terrorism and a billion yen, what more do you want? Damaski m a r i m a s e n g a Shinjiro to Mo Yimasen. But as she was Sibete or Sashidashi, Sibete or Akashtimas Nani or Shinji, Do Shioto, Sorewa Mo, Atarashi Ogon no Aruji de Aru Minasanga Kimeru Kotodis. 私の言うことを何も信じずこの場を立ち去ることさえ皆さんの自由ですエヴァ彼女が嘘を言っているとは思えんね What if it's a scam? なんでそうだってわかるのよこいつの余裕が気に入らないのよまるでもう全てに勝利したかのようだわ私、今ふと思ったの。爆弾のスイッチとか言うのオンとオフが逆じゃないのそ、それ、どういうこと姉さん。さっきその女は、爆弾を解除すると言ってそのスイッチをいじったわ。実はその時、スイッチを入れたんじゃないのあんたは私たちに謎を解かれたんで、私たちごとすべてを吹き飛ばすために爆弾のスイッチをオンにしたんじゃないのそう思い出したら、どうぞその時計のスイッチを入れてください。あと1分で24時。In one m i n u t e yeah. Y'all will die in an instant. Yeah. Try it out and see what happens. <laughs> oh, 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 Well, it's not like there's going to be a. It's not like we can hear a ticking sound going off.
<laughs> no words. So, so switch, what do not tell you? Onka, Oka, Wakaru Kajo Nano. On the upper part of the antique clock was a metal switch that could slide right or left. Right now, it was set to the left. How? Excuse me. However, there were no marks in particular on either side to tell one which was off and which was on. オフ。逆よ、逆に決まってるわ。右がオフなの予想に違いない。もう時間がないわ、姉さん。よせば。スイッチをいじるな。now we can we can't even tell which who is gaslighting and whatnot. Eva-san,その手を離しなさい。私もどうかよ。今がオフだ。もし私たちを爆弾で殺すつもりなら、彼女は爆弾の話を告白しなかったはずよ。She's like, yeah, yeah, it's the reason to be skeptical about it. Beatrice! I don't know how to do Oh, shit. Oh, it's Jover. This kind of silence is a little scary there. The second hand of the clock ticked past 2400. October 4th ended, and the curtain rose on October 5th, 1986. The switch was still pointing to the left. The witch's words had been proven correct. With a hideous, sweat-covered expression, Eva snatched the cash card away from the witch's hand. Eva and Kiri both took out a pen and notepad and began writing the eight-digit number the witch told them. これで私から皆さんへ伝えることそして受け渡すものは全て終わりですもう私は自ら何も喋りません役目を全て終えましたので After saying this, the witch spun around and sat down on the bed. She wasn't even looking at the others anymore. She sat there like an empty husk, which had, just as she had said, 
finished everything it existed to do. For a while, everyone watched the witch to see if she would remember something else and start talking. However, she said nothing else. The witch who had called herself one of the dead was now little more than a large French doll wearing a black dress. <laughs> Just gonna sit there and do nothing. Well then. Gold is the only physical embodiment of magic that can exist in the human world. Since ancient times, even a small bit of it could control men with its magic. In that case, how much magical power would dwell in it? If it was piled up in a mountain so high, you'd have to look up to see the top. The yells of the humans dancing around the gold reverberated throughout the underground room. In front of the go pile of gold, they were arguing about how it should be split. I mean, that's how it how it should go, though. Hidetsu. おやじが死んでることを隠してるくせに。そうよ、そうよ。私たちをずっと欺いて、お父様の財産を私物化してきたくせに。それをうやむやにする分も全て含めてチャラにして仲良く四等分。フェアな話だと思う。そこまで言うなら四等分に死をじゃないか。今すぐこの山を切り分けて自由に持って帰るがいい。二点五等分のインゴットが入るポケットでもお持ちならばの話だがぬい。それに諸君はどうやら黄金の山に惑わされてすっ
there were some who had black market ties and a lot of financial power. The billion yen tied to the cash card that the Golden Witch had held out a second ago had already been turned into cash thanks to one of Kinzo's connections. <laughs> However, none of the other siblings had any connections like that. They would have to rely on Kraus to get cash with the gold. しかし、<笑> Oh boy. See, I was predicting this in my mind that it's going to end in within a gunfight, but over some fucking family inheritance. And I was like, yep, I, I, I knew if it's going to happen, then it. God, God help me. Eva was gripping the gun so hard it looked like it might snap. The four guns that the witch had placed in this room were now in the hands of the relatives. Just as the gold had led their hearts astray, it seemed these guns had the magical power to turn their hearts to violence. Yes, the m violence is the is apparently the 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 only power. One of the powers within magic is to commit violence. Great. Finally, a scuffle arose between Eva and Kraus. Off to the side, Natsuki started arguing with Rudolph and his wife, and the grand underground VIP room was filled with thundering jeers. <laughs> After being forced to watch the scene for so long, Angie's face was starting to contort with pain. It was only natural after being shown this abusive argument between her parents and her other relatives. It was painful for Leon too. Leon would have tried to intervene and calm them if that had been possible. The gold isn't going anywhere, right? If you just slow down and think, you'll be able to solve this. Going by what Eva and the others said, it's clear that they'll need a lot of money before the end of the year. However, the billion yen cash card should be more than enough to pay for that. That would handle their emergency expenses so they could then convert the gold to cash at their leisure and just split it amongst themselves. Sure, maybe Kraus was the only one capable of converting the gold. That might give them an advantage over the other siblings. However, this gold can be dealt with by open means. In addition to attracting public attention, it would also lead to various legal problems. It was better for this secret money to remain secret. If they wanted to get the largest portions possible, then they should all agree not to tell anyone about this gold. In other words, to maximize their profits, they would all need to make a gentleman's agreement to keep the secret. Kraus did have a slight advantage, however, it was possible for the other relatives to refuse to cooperate and tell the world about the gold. And then, there was also the concealment of Kinzo's death to consider. Kraus was an investor. He needed, he needed not only financial clout, but also a certain degree of public confidence in him. His advantage isn't big enough for him to act so overbearing. <laughs> Again, the money is the root of all evil, especially on a big amount. これは大人の口論じゃない。ただの子供の喧嘩だ。こんな光景を私たちに見せて何が楽しいってのよ。<laughs> 
それともこれが新しい魔女の遊びってわけ私たちが嫌そうな顔するのをどこかで眺めててニヤニヤしてるってわけ By now, even I didn't have a clue who was showing this to us, or for what reason. At the very least, this new tale didn't seem to be overflowing with affection. At first, I thought it was a tale of a beautiful world where no crime occurred and Claire's regrets had vanished. But something's different. This tale is clearly filled with ill will towards us. I'm sure of that much now, but I don't have a clue who would want to show us this. Yeah, why? Oh shit! I knew it. Why? Why did this turn into a childish bickering and then now a gunfight? Suddenly, an explosion rang out. I didn't think it was the sound of gunfire. After all, people living a normal life never hear that kind of sound. It was the sound of thick raindrops hitting the floor. There was no rain in this underground room. It was blood dripping down from Natsuki's right eye. The bullet had gone in through her right eye, towards the back of her head. Natsuki! You're going to get me out of here! The gun, which fell from Eva's grasp, landed on the floor with a hard metallic clang. As though in response to that sound, Natsuki's head slowly fade. <laughs> Natsuki's head slowly turned to face the ceiling. Natsuki! Natsuki! Natsuki flopped backwards. When the back of her head hit the floor, a red splash spread out beneath it, forming a single flower to adorn her dead face. Oh, I see. You, know, you see. It's not like we're... The reason why we're... They were showing... Do you see, Angie? The reason why they're showing you this... They're showing you the, the reason why your family... They're showing you this... Because um, it's to show how fucked up your family is. So... It's not like we're. It's not like a game to. You know, not all rich families are all going to be happy and hunky dory. You know, just th this is just how it is. Kraus howled, raised his gun, and ran at Eva. At the same time, Hideyoshi leapt between them. A scuffle broke out between the two men. I'm I don't know, man. It sounds like more than just an accident. Yeah, well, you had a gun. Oh, what do you what do you think happens when someone jumps at you? You react easily with the, by shooting. 
A a any, I'm pretty sure any human being would do that. Kraus, who had just seen his wife killed before his eyes, had lost all traces of rationality in his expression. He was so furious that if he had knocked Hideyoshi aside and jumped at Eva, he might have torn her throat out. Uh, there's more. I don't. I don't think you. <laughs> there's more than that. Like, if if, so, if if that happened to your wife, you would have done the same. So, oh shit! Another explosion rang out. Hitty, <laughs> another explosion rang out. Hideyoshi's face was covered with blood. The two of them had been fighting over the gun Kraus held, trying to push it away from themselves. When the barrel had turned to point at Kraus's chin, the sneering, formless reaper, master of the Room of Gold, had swung its scythe once more. A line of blood trickled from Kraus's mouth. <laughs> The two fell down with Krauss's body on top of Hideyoshi. Letting out a cowardly cry, Hideyoshi backed away before Krauss's body could cover him. Well, would you look at that? You you made it sound like you, uh, you made it sound like he killed himself. As the pair of them broke down, sobbing and repeatedly claiming that it was all an accident, Rosa and the others were unable to say a thing. The witch also watched the scene, but said nothing, and appeared to be completely disinterested. <laughs> yeah, just imagine Beatrice just watching him motionlessly and chomping on her popcorn while at it. ローザも見てたでしょ。偶然暴発したのか、それを装って殺したのか、私には分からないの。ルドルフ君、あんたは見てたやろ。わかるやろ。な。Oh my goodness. Rosa's and Rudolph's gazes looked very cold and indifferent to Eva and her husband. とか<笑> 
そもそもあの未開の森にどうして2人が出かけるのよすぐに不審に思われるわよ騙し通せるわけないわ大丈夫やここに死体を隠せば誰にも見つからんみんなで知らんぷりをすればごまかせる無理よ警察をごまかせるわけないわ遺産問題で揉める親族会議で兄さん夫婦が深夜に揃って失踪なんて警察が簡単に行方不明で済ましてくれるわけがないわ Oh, don't tell, let me guess. Your idea involves more gunfire. Though Eva had been scratching at her head, overcome with emotion, her arms suddenly fell as though their strings had been cut. Yeah, I don't see how it's an accident when you two, you know, caused the issue to begin with. Yeah, this is what happens when you leave firearms right in front of people. <laughs> And, you know. And they're loaded. Well, not really loaded, but they had, you know, there were some bullets on the side. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a reason why forensic technology is a thing. You're not thinking of blowing up the entire island, right? <laughs> it, it, when, I, when I hear massive Aten, I assume you're going to use the fucking switch. Oh my fucking god, I knew it! You fucking insane piece of shit. <laughs> Evo slowly walked forward, tapped it, and spoke. As she played with the switch that would cause an automatic explosion at 2400, Eva spun around to look at them, a crazed expression on her face. It was truly a mad flash of inspiration. If they flipped the switch to the right and waited for 2400, then 900 tons of explos explosives would wipe out the mansion without a trace. There wouldn't even be anything left of the corpses. There certainly wouldn't be any way to tell that they had died by gunshot wounds before the explosion. <laughs> それが明日の夜偶然何かの表紙に間違って爆発してしまうのよそうこれは事故爆発事故どう絶対に警察にはわからないこれならごまかせ <laughs> Shaking, Hideyoshi frantically searched for a counter argument, hoping to shut down Eva's mad idea. But he couldn't find one. 
If they blew everything up, the fats would all be muddled. They could make it look as though Kraus and Natsuki had died in an explosion accident. たまたま明日の夜隠し屋敷にいた。そこで偶然爆発事故が起こってなお逃れた。そういう筋書きにすればいいのよ。何をどういう筋書きにするつもりよ。クラウス兄さんと夏日姉さんだけを残して残り全員が隠し屋敷に行っていて私たちだけが都合よく難を逃れるって一体どういう筋書きよそれはこれから考えるって言ってるでしょバカローザ何でもいいのよ口うるさい
Yeah, we don't got any wheelbarrows or anything. あの中から受け取った10億円の入ったカードが黄金は運べるだけ運べばいいそれを別にしても私たちには10億円が入ったカードがあるわ3等分しても yeah, I don't like it when you're being you're being a greedy piece of shit. And then you and you, and your fucking quote unquote accident is what what caused the murder of the two people? <laughs> yeah, this is the part I don't like while I'm recording this. Like, you're. It just. You, it just shows how much of you're a greedy piece of shit. I could call you a greedy whore, but, you know, that's a little bit too much of a simplistic insult, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't. I, it's not like my channel is. It, it, it's not like my channel is monetized to where my profanity manners matters. <laughs> Eva's face twisted in anguish and was met by Rosa's look of cold unconcern. <laughs> カードの残りは47億。それをあんた、私も姉さんも最も多くのお金を手に入れられる方法を提案するわ。何よ。素直に警察に特務愛の末銃が暴発したと言って自首してほしいの。バカ言ってんじゃないわよ。私は嫌よ、警察なんて。さすがに事件がここで起こったとは言いたくないわね。警察に黄金が見つかっちゃう。そうね。バラ庭園なんてどう？雨が降っているから現場検証の時無人が発見されなくていいかもしれない。どういう経緯で雨のバラ庭園で
If it was a question of maximizing each person's portion, no one had anything to gain from an explosion accident. An explosion could conceal Krauss and Natsuki's deaths, and it would serve no further purpose. From Rosa's perspective, the ideal outcome would be for them to confess to their crimes without any unnecessary tricks. All she wanted was to change the crime scene from here to a different place. However, Eva didn't want to be arrested. She didn't like having her share shrink from 5 billion to 300 yen. <laughs> 300 yen. <laughs> 300 million. But even that was more than enough to cover the amount she had been trying to wring out of Krauss in the first place. She wanted to hide what had happened here, even if it meant blowing away 4.7 billion yen. What would happen if they were arrested? The life, the company, and the trust that Eva had worked so long to build were things that couldn't be brought back with money. So she wanted to hide Krauss and Natsuki's death, even if it meant blowing up all 4.7 billion, billion yen worth of her gold. But from Rosa's perspective, that was just irrational nonsense. Uh, I, see, I, I know that's going to happen. Oh, even Rosa has picked up the gun too. それどころ大人しく自首しなさいよ。そうすれば不幸な事故がたまたま重力は Oh boy. <laughs> How long is it gonna go, I wonder? Do, do, do. Yeah. Normally I would want to keep going, but we're approaching pretty close to the 55 minute mark. Ah, damn. One, two. Freaking three? Jesus Christ. This is all this is a long ass tea party. But uh what have we learned? I guess you know uh I guess greed can cause the the loss of self control, which leads to a quote unquote accidental murder of the sort. <laughs> Uh, fucking Eva. <laughs> I, I, you have given me the, I, I, I should be given the moral right to not feel bad for Eva later on. So, anyway, well, we're not gonna, you know, make any sort of judgments. So next part, we'll continue, uh, more of the, you know, family inheritance mishaps. So. With that being said, if you guys all enjoyed this, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>